I love to worship. I love to sing God's praises. And I have many favourite hymns. It is good to give thanks and adore Jesus Christ for all he has done for us and for all that he means to us. It is good to praise God, the creator, for this wonderful, wonderful creation and the blessings that he gives us. And it rejoices our spirit and our heart as we look to him and worship him. So it's been very difficult for me to choose a particular hymn and to speak for a, a few moments about it because there are just so many. But I've chosen this hymn by John Bell who is a member of the Iona community and writes very thought-provoking hymns. And this particular one is very much on my heart as we look at Christ's world at this time. Christ was there at the very beginning, at the foundation of the world. God created this world through Christ and it is a special place. And all his creatures are special and varied, different loved and valued. We are precious to him. And as we know his friendship and as we are friends with him, we are called to reach out and touch other people's lives. And this is a prayer for those who are perhaps struggling who are weak, who are abused or neglected, who are hurt, downtrodden, oppressed, who have faced many injustices through their lives. And some cry out to God for help and for rescue. And he meets with them, often through the love, the compassion, and the work of others. The chorus here, to the lost, Christ shows his face. To the unloved, he gives his embrace. And it's a difficult time to be reaching out and touching people physically, giving them a shake of the hand, putting our arm around someone, putting our hand on somebody's hand or arm, or in church parlance, laying our hands upon someone's head as we pray for them. This social distancing is also preventing us from becoming closer to someone physically as we speak to them. And it's important that we do touch other people's lives in the right way. And as we are caring for others by being preventive in not passing on, as it were, this virus, we have to find other ways of drawing close to people through our words, through our very being, through our actions, through our sensitivity, understanding and compassion, through our listening, and we need that understanding of people who have been through different experiences through lockdown. There are those who have the tensions and the strife of family life. There are those who are struggling with isolation and continue to struggle with that sense of rejection that sense of being different or being alone and suffering loneliness and perhaps phobias and anxieties. People are in different places but very needy places. And so as I choose this hymn, I pray with these words, 
particularly for those who are grieving, for those who are lost and feel lost, for those who are hurt and in pain, for those confused and doubtful, but for those who are open to receive from Christ. May this be our prayer, our prayer for our loved ones, our friends and our neighbours. May we be Christ's touching place for him and for others. Amen. Amen.